Hey community group leaders and teachers, I hope you're doing well and having a fabulous day. Hey, I'm excited to introduce this week's Leadership Minute. This is one more tool that we can have in our tool belt to lead more effectively. Throughout the month of March, we are looking at, at some signs of a lack of health in a community group to find out how we can maybe reverse engineer those so that we can determine ways that we can help our groups grow. One of the things I've noticed over the years in leading community groups is that sometimes people attend a group but they feel like a number in a crowd. They feel a sense of anonymity, and that's not a good thing. Sometimes people want to go, and they just want to attend and, and, and be, be someone in the background, but most of the time when people are attending a community group, they actually want to connect with other people, and when they don't feel like they're connecting with other people, they disengage, they back off. Ultimately, they, they walk away from a group, and maybe they'll attend another group, maybe they won't. And so what do you do if people in your group are struggling with connecting with other people? Typically, there's a couple of uh, things that are happening for that to take place in a group setting. E either it's too big of a group, and so people are just showing up to hear a good teaching, but they're not connecting with other people, or maybe the, the format of the group is such that there's not enough interaction. Uh, maybe it's, it's too small of a group, and, and they wanted to be a little more anonymous. They also wanted to connect with people, but it felt like it was, it was a little bit of a holy huddle, where it was an us for no more kind of group. Now, each of those require a little bit of a different approach to, to addressing the issue, but ultimately it goes back to the roots for the way God created us. See, God designed us in His image and likeness in Genesis 1, 26 and 27. He designed us for community where we, we truly encourage each other and invest in each other's lives. Uh, Paul said that, that we were designed in such a way that we should invest in others who invest in others, to take what's been entrusted in us and pass on to others who pass on to others. The author of Proverbs actually says in Proverbs 27, 17, is iron sharpens iron, so one man is designed to sharpen another. The, the antidote, I believe, to addressing that issue of anonymity is giving people a sense of direction and a sense of belonging in the group to the extent that, that their purpose in, in attending a group is, is to bring insight to the table where we can collectively grow because of that insight. And so whether you're in a bigger group or in a smaller group, my challenge is to look for ways to invite people to have a conversation or a dialogue instead of a monologue in, in group times. Now, that can happen in various ways. So in a larger group setting, maybe that looks like inviting people at the beginning of group to share something that they're learning. You invite two or three people to share how God is speaking to them and growing them and challenging them. Maybe that's simply having a Q&A time at the end of, of a lecture if you are in a bigger group or maybe asking probing questions throughout the time so that other people have a chance to respond in the group. Maybe that's even peeling back beyond just the group time itself where there's smaller groups where people can invest in each other's lives. But God ultimately designed us for community and to invest in other people. And I believe that as you find ways in your group creatively to help people invest in other people and to pass on what God has given them to other people, they will feel a sense of purpose in their group, and instead of anonymity, they'll feel like they belong. Uh, I hope that that helps you. If you have any questions about this tip or any other Leadership Minute, please give me a call, a text, an email. I look forward to seeing you around again for another Leadership Minute soon, though. Blessings.